Hi everyone, this is Jane talking from Crete. Um, I'd just like to update you on uh, on little facts about our arrival. We arrived last night about half past ten in the evening, and uh, it was it was quite a journey home really. Um, we travelled to Athens, then we had a three hour wait in Athens, and uh, then took a plane to Crete. Um, it was quite turbulent. Uh, uh, quite a, a, a bumpy flight, should I say? Um, but we arrived safely in Heraklion around about half past ten last night. Uh, unfortunately, we'd overlooked the fact that it was a celebration of Saint Minus yesterday, and um, because of that, everyone or most people were partying and having the day off, and so uh, there were very few taxis. Um, we we arrived late and the only way back to Rahasi was by taxi so we were getting a little um, a, a little I don't know concerned that we were not going to get a taxi home when uh, one turned up uh, and uh, the driver said where are you going we said Rahasi he said get inside um, we thought it was a little strange when he put the bags in the boot there and there were already cases in the boot. When we got inside the car, there, there was another guy inside inside the car. Uh, and so I turned to him and I said, where are you going? Um, he told me he was going to the other side of Heraklion, that way. And uh, we were going to Verhasi, that way. <laughs> so... Um, so uh, nobody else said anything. The driver didn't say anything. Uh, sorry, we, we have to take this guy first, uh, anything like that. He just said, oh, not many taxis tonight. And we said, no, not many. <laughs> so uh, we had a little tour of Heraklion, to, to, to cut a little long story short. We had a little tour of Heraklion, took this guy down all the back streets until we found his house, got him home, and uh, and then came out of Heraklion, round all the back streets again and <laughs> onto the motorway and then went like zoop, back out of hell along the road to Verhasse. He wasn't content with just driving fast, but the driver, it, while he's driving along, he opened a compartment, took out a DVD, uh, inserted it in and, and it was a, a movie and the actual movie appeared on his dashboard there. Uh, somewhere down there, a little screen, so he could watch his uh, his movie while he's driving along at the speed of light. Um, at this point, I just offered up a little prayer to Ias Minas and uh, and hoped he would get us home safely. Well, my prayer was answered, and we arrived in in Verhasse around about I don't know half past eleven, something like that. Luckily, the uh, one of the bars was still open, one of the little cafe neos there was still open, and so we had a chance of a beer. We just dumped all the cases on the side of the road there and, and had a beer and some meze before getting back um, to the house. So that was our arrival in Verhasi last night, uh, a little hair raising. Today um, it was uh, a day of sorting the house out and uh, cleaning and then we went off to Neapoli shopping but before we did that um, unfortunately a lady had died an English lady in um, CC and it was her funeral so um, thank goodness we we were in time to get to the funeral uh, and um, and our condolences certainly to the family and especially Julie who's looked after her mum for for months and uh, and and has been an absolutely superb daughter and um how can you say it was a good funeral but it was indeed a very very lovely funeral and i have to say that and uh, and so i you know we we were happy to be able to be part of that today. Um, after that, we went to Neapoli, did our shopping, came back, and 
since then I've been writing most of the day. It's my mission now to, in the next few weeks, finish book number two, uh, which which is quite a task. I'm about 40,000 words in now, so um, and I know where I'm going with it, so I, it's not too daunting. Um, so that's my mission, uh, and uh, I shall keep up to date. I want to keep up to date with this method of blogging, if I can. Um, it's possibly easier for me than, and it's possibly easier for you to, to listen to me than to read a blog, I don't know. Um, anyway, I'll report back tomorrow, but for now I'd like to wish you all a very good evening. And uh, I know you're two hours behind me, and it's, oh dear me, it's half past twelve here now, so it's time I was going to bed. Um, I wish everybody a very good evening, and uh, I'll talk to you again very soon. Good night. <laughs>